Hey guys, it's me Rahul and today we are going to look at top 15 antiviruses for Android. Before you jump out and say mobile devices don't need antiviruses, I have some few things to say. First of all, you are not completely right. If you care more about security, you must install an antivirus on your phone. And if you are a power user who care about battery life and performance, then use an antivirus when you feel like there is something wrong with your phone. If you keep them installed, these apps can drain your battery and it consumes a chunk of RAM too. If you love reading and want to know more about antiviruses, internet security and hacking, click the first link in the description and just for the record, this list is in no particular order. So let's begin. Starting the list with Lookout. What I like about this app is its simplicity. It is not cluttered with a lot of unuseful features like we see in many other. Lookout has a bunch of features and that all are helpful and Lookout is by far the best mobile antivirus that I have used. It is great whenever I find something wrong with my phone, I use this app. Lookout does have a premium version which offers services such as theft alerts, privacy advisors, safe browsing, lock and wipe and better backup along with the free services such as backup and missing device and of course antivirus. 360 security is pretty much the opposite of Lookout. This app has a ton of features such as built-in app locker, firewall, data monitor, call and SMS filter and so on. The user interface is clean and simple. One of the unique services that I found on this app is firewall. It requires root access and it works flawlessly. Like I said earlier, 360 security has a ton of services and if you can find use for all these services, I highly recommend this app. Next one on the list is Malwarebytes and a Malware. Malwarebytes is one of the top brand in the PC antivirus category and on mobile they are not that good because it does not have as many features as 360 security or even Lookout. The features are pretty basic and in a way I like it too but I think in general antiviruses for mobile are not just an antivirus, it is a whole package of utility apps. Nonetheless, it's a great app that I trust and recommend. Moving on to the next one, it is Avast Mobile Security. Avast is a pretty well known name in the antivirus market and while I was using this antivirus, the thing that I noticed was this is the perfect antivirus app for me because it is not cluttered with unwanted services. The services that this app has are the ones that I would actually use. The services include app locking, card blocker, privacy advisor, firewall and of course antivirus. And the UI of this app is fantastic. Fifth one on the list is Avira. The scanning process of this app is a bit slow and it has some basic services slash functions and the UI of this app is quite good. Next one is Nortron Mobile Security. Nortron is a pretty well known brand in the antivirus industry. The Nortron Mobile app has a very good UI, somewhat different from others and it offers services like card blocker and anti-theft for free and a bunch of other services like web protection, app advisor to premium users. Which is kind of disappointing to see given that all the other app offers these services for absolutely free. Moving on to the next app, it is called McAfee Mobile Security. The first thing that I notice when I open this app is the UI. It looks outdated. There are some neat services like battery optimizer and web protection, but the majority of the services like call blocker, app block and backup are only available if you activate your account. So make sure you do that. One of the unique things about this app is it will never run in background. So your battery won't die fastly and it doesn't make your phone slow either. Mm, there is a twist. This app doesn't show up in the recent apps, but it runs in the background. I actually found something interesting that is, this app consumes about double the RAM compared to other apps that I've mentioned in this video. So what that means is, if you have a low-end device, do not install this. Asset Mobile Security is the next app on this list. This app has services like anti-phishing, security audit, anti-theft and of course anti-virus. This app is pretty basic in terms of free features. Ninth one on the list is Bitdefender Mobile Security. It does offer additional features like app blocker, web security, anti-theft, but it is not free. However, you will get a 14-day free trial to try these features out. The scanning was pretty quick in my opinion and it does have a very good simple UI. Next one is AVG. 
In this app, most of the features are free and some of them are not, but you can use those features for free for about 30 days. The UI is simply good. It does have some additional services like task killer and junk cleaning along with a bunch of other common services. Moving on to the next app, it is called Casper Sky Internet Security. It does not have a lot of features and some of the services are only available if you activate the app. The scanning process was fairly quick. Panda Mobile Security is the next app that I am going to talk about. This app is pretty much similar to most of the other apps that I have talked about. It is really hard to make a video on top antivirus apps because 90% of these apps do the exact same things. By the way, the UI of this app is great and it does have a bunch of useful services too. CM Security might have the most flashiest UIs of all antivirus apps. I am not saying it's bad, it actually looks pretty cool. This app offers a lot of services and all of them works pretty fine as well. Surface Mobile Security is the next app on this list. The UI of this app is pretty simple and clean and it does offer some good services that I would actually use. QR code scanner, loss and theft, authenticator, privacy security advisor, web filtering and much more are the services that this app provides. Last one on the list is Trusco. You might not be familiar with this name if you are not super stoked on hacking and things like that. First of all, let's talk about its UI. It is pretty ugly in my opinion. It looks like the UI of an app from 2012. But other than that, it's a pretty good app and it does have some neat features and services. So that's been it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin